Hi, Adam. Hi, Simon. Simon does one. Yeah, what's up, Simon? First-time Zoom callers may not know quite what to make hey, hey. of what's behind Scott Stoddard. We'll say, hold on, hold on, hold on. Scott, what is your background? Is that real or is that fake? Like, are those a bunch of fish? What is that? The answer, though, <laughs> is not just something to laugh at. I think it started with Jaws. Monday night special, Jaws. I couldn't watch the whole thing. It was so terrifying. Really scary, but also really interesting. In elementary school, I would go to the library and I would check out every single book on sharks. Call number 597 is where all the shark stuff is. I still remember that <laughs> to this day. Thus began a life. So I asked for a rubber shark for Christmas. With a population of rubber sharks. Somewhere in China, there are businessmen that just know that that grew rubber sharks are good money. <laughs> into the world's largest. The official Guinness record is 840, but I think I'm probably around 1,000 now. Not just an Instagram feed. Not just a record of growing environmental awareness. If you go back and look at the history of rubber sharks, back in the 70s, they're all really scary. Later in the 80s, early 90s, you start to see... I mean, just incredible detail here. A science toy. But just as we save moments in picture frames, for Scott Stoddard, these two... Going to Toys R Us with my dad when I was a kid. Hold memories. Given to me by a friend shortly before they committed suicide. A first date. We have that shark memory on our first date. <laughs> like Using our little shark squirt guns. A wedding. For our wedding, I had friends come through the reception line with little sharks that they handed me. <laughs> Here's some rubber sharks. You know, good luck. Congratulations on your marriage. A Christmas. Natalie gave this to me for Christmas. Feelings of... Christmas and gift giving on Christmas morning and the excitement all the kids are sharing. You know, it's kind of a silly thing, a rubber shark, but the way these things are tied up in our memories, it, 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 it makes it matter somehow. I first met Stoddard and his sharks 20 years ago. Since then, he's built a career making video games, become a ninja warrior, a husband, a father, and a stunt shopper. Oh, well, maybe my shark collection just reflects. Life is good, he says. The bounty of blessings that, that I have in my life. <laughs> and he's got the rubber sharks to prove it. <laughs>